What's up all you Clashers, this is Kaz, and welcome to Kaz Gaming. In this video I'll be bringing you my review of the new Hero Revenant. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is the current state of Revenant on my account. He's got a 8 of 10 skill. I have him evolved at 10 stars and at 8 out of 10 he's doing 350% attack damage and that 3 second stun is hitting 5 guys. I uh, haven't rolled the talents yet like I said in the last video, uh, I'm kind of saving that for later. So we're still rolling with this uh, 4 of 8 war god. It's a decent talent. Uh, you'll see I have the pet. Angie right there and that's just because I was trying him out on the Archdemon and just to give him more survivability I thought I'd just throw Angie on there just to try it out. So you'll see that later on in this video. Okay, uh, attack damage. 8,000 something, 8,000 quick math here, 8,700 or so attack damage and 180 or so thousand hit points at this point. So he's at a workable level, uh, level 86 on inscriptions, still working on that. And of course the revive quests to bring him back to life when he gets dropped by the Archdemon so we can have him last as long as possible. But uh, in, in these videos, he, in the videos you're about to see, he's actually running a level 3 revitalized crest. And that's so that he can uh, uh, proc sooner. Alright, so we're going to start off here with some Lava 3 runs. And we're looking for his effectiveness on the team. As you can see, I'm in the tank spot. We got his stun ability going off right there. You see the Dino got stunned. Centurion boss comes in. Of course, we get wiped, but we get brought back to life from tree. And I don't know if we see a stun or two. There, we, there it is. There's that stun again. So he does help out on the team a little bit. I never did bother to upgrade a... Reaper, so um, yeah, I just try. Thought I'd try and put him in there, and and he does pretty good. Uh, of course, he's got that twin that pops out, right? The doppel, so that helps with the the damage as well. Here's another run, I'm trying to see that uh, stun. And yeah, sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. I think there it is, right there. So he definitely helps out on that tank team, helps to stun the, uh, the enemies around that, that area. That's one thing I did notice. I think there's a one run where we kind of back off the view and try to see how far out, because he stuns, what, about five guys at, at this point at level, level eight skill level. So I'm trying to back out here to see, to try to see who's getting stunned, and it, it's... It does say nearby enemies, so that's helping a lot. It's not like stunning the guy that's all the way across the map there. It's stunning the guys that are surrounding the team, which really helps. So, I actually do run him all the time now on my Lava team. I mean, not a huge help. It didn't really increase, or should I say decrease, the time that it takes to take down the Lava 3. You know, we're still ending about 10, 20 or 30 seconds left on the clock. Um, but here's a nice run right here. Everybody got stunned. You can see it. There it goes again. There's that stun on the boss again. And yeah, he does pretty well on, on a lava team. At least for the tank position. I, I can't... I didn't try him in other spots, but... uh. For a tank, he's not bad. So we're rolling right into some Lost Battlefield here. I've got him part of, as part of my Skull Knight team. Put a level 3 revitalized crest on him and I'm running it with Cupid. So pretty much uh, Cupid procs and then he procs. And we see him help out right there. Some stun. 
And I mean, you know, it's a pretty strong team already. I uh, just want to see how effective he is to help out that team. Uh, here's my Ares team doing some, doing some damage. Looking good. We go through a few runs right here for you. So I'm trying to hit the, the toughest guy here, but this guy ends up actually being too tough for him. Uh, come in, he procs right there, you can see it. It's done, but uh, both teams have a Ghulam. They're able to heal through that. Pumpkin Duke procs and uh, we get wiped out. And there you can see the strength of this guy's team. It's, it's pretty up there. Everybody's double evolved, level 200. And even my Ares team gets wiped. So, it happens. Uh, moving down, we go down to Christamar 84. So, same teams. And unfortunately, we run into an Ares team right away. Val, Val Valentina Prox does her thing, but it's uh, just not enough. You see that... Phantom King just working. So it really seems to me that he suffers from what most heroes suffer from, and, and that's uh, being susceptible to um, like Ares and Dread Drake's proc. Dread Drake will hit him right away, whereas. Um, you know, Revenant needs to actually attack before he can he can do his proc. Um, although he is immune to scatter, he is not immune to silence. So Ares will hit him with the calamity, and then he won't be able to proc. So that's what's happening in some of these attacks here. Um, as far as the Doppel goes, uh, I didn't see him doing significant amount of damage or help within the team. He does proc and come out, and then you can see right here, he does hit everybody with the um, the stun, but, uh, you know, and again, stun right there, but, uh, you know, that Golem is too strong, the Vlad is too strong, they, they just power right through that. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, he is going up against double evolved guys, and he's only single evolved. So maybe I'll have to make another one of these reviews when I have him maxed out. Right now, he's about maybe I guess halfway maxed out. You could say. Uh, so maybe we'll revisit this this review later on. <laughs> so we're on our final uh, run here. And I think well, I think we take this one in the third round. Let, let's see. Do we? No, maybe not. That's a Skull Knight. Um. Yeah, Vlad's pretty strong, but I don't know if he can handle a Skull Knight. Nope, he gets taken out too. So that about does it for the um, Lost Battlefield. So. Uh, he he does pretty good. Um, he might do better if you had a level 505 revitalize maybe and get that stun proc right away. And you, of course you got that extra hero when his twin pops out or the doppel pops out and then does the damage. So maybe if he's, like I said, double evolved and uh, 505 revitalize, maybe that would be uh, even be more effective. Um, so here we're throwing in some, uh, just some raiding runs. I really don't raid like this, but you know, for this review, I thought I'd put that in there. And I'm just kind of running in with Skull Knight and Gollum to help with uh, tanking and heals. And we pretty much chop right through this team. I uh, definitely should have zoomed in there to see if he's really, you know, helping out with the uh, the stun and seeing the doppel. But you can see those two guys right there. The, it does look pretty cool to have two of them on the screen at the same time. Uh, so we go through a few here to see his effectiveness in, in battle. 
I really didn't think that this would be one of the areas where he would um, he would shine as as I thought he would. Um, I still think that the the best game mode for him is probably Lost Battlefield. You know, with what you just saw. So we kind of just randomly going through here. Uh, this was actually kind of poorly timed. The calamity from Ares drops off, and then I do an awesome mistake of putting in the whirlwind spell right there. <laughs> uh, and I think we're doing okay here, but I, his there it is. His um, his skull knight comes back, and then just starts killing people. And all I'm left is with uh, Gollum. Gollum somehow survives that. And um, we just won't watch the rest of that one. So this is the last run right here. And in this run, I'd like to focus in on the, the Doppel himself. When he procs and the second guy comes out. I think that's more of his strength is just having two of them on the battlefield. And... The Doppel being, well, just as strong, if not stronger, than Revenant himself. And one more thing I'd like to point out is right here, you see it's only a few seconds before... There it is. He pops out again. So, while the 15 seconds may seem like a long time, it's actually only a few seconds in between because the cooldown is going off as the other guy is out. Right? As long as he has the energy to proc, so... For 12 seconds you have him out and then the 15 seconds is the cooldown. So you really only have 3 seconds where he's not on the battlefield. That is if you have enough energy for him to uh, proc again. So lastly we have him here in an Archdemon run. I thought I would try him in Archdemon because the Eye catchers have that 8 of 8 scatter and he's immune to scatter so if he could successfully tank the demon then he won't be affected by that. Uh, we're using the the double defense strategy here with uh, Gollum and Tree and hoping that you know the uh, defensive buff stacks. So here we are we're gonna launch with uh, Revenant and then drop everybody else behind. I don't know if anybody else had noticed that the eye catchers they uh, spawn much more closely to the demon than before. So having everybody behind is is not an issue anymore. They kind of don't get targeted by the eye catchers. And it's actually a pretty decent run. I think we do okay until the point where, you know, we have no debuff. So the demon just keeps getting revved and revved and we do all right until there's that you know critical hit splash damage that happens and your or my heroes just get dropped and it's a decent run i think he does help out uh, he's not a must-have hero against this of course you can use you know i think most people use dread drake which is just as fine because Dread Drake has a rapid energy increase, so therefore he procs often as well. So the eye catchers don't really affect him as much. So we did a uh, 21 million right there. It's it's a decent score compared to what I had before. So my final thoughts on Revenant: he's uh, he's a good hero to have, but he's not a must-have hero by by any means um, his strength is definitely uh, the fact that there's two of them out there for 12 seconds it's just like having a you know it's like having an extra hero for 12 seconds is he worth getting I'm gonna have to say yeah he's worth getting but you know it'll be up to you on how much gems you're willing to sacrifice to try and roll for this guy 
Uh, I've integrated him into a couple of game modes that I use. Uh, he's he's performing pretty good on, on the team. I look forward to getting him stronger and him having help out more. So, um, yeah, that'll just about do it for, for my review. I would say if you like what you see, go get him. Uh, if not, then uh, save your gems. Uh, well, that'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you watch the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Kaz, signing out.